and my husband's um, father is a moral philosopher, but actually lives in Austin for some of the a time. A moral philosopher? Yeah. yeah. You kept that I quiet. I know. <laughs> really? <laughs> Pre or post enlightenment? Uh, uh, well, he well he specialized. He sort of created a form of um, philosophy called uh, particularism, and that's all I know. <laughs> that's not very particular. <laughs> that's too it's, vague. I'm excited by this moral he's philosopher. He's really smart. I, I, you're yeah. damn right he is. He's uh, a moral <laughs> philosopher. <laughs> Claire, that's very brainy. Yeah. 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 Does he? I, the, I picked up a book of his once. It's just, it's indecipherable. It's like another See, language. See, I love that. Kierkegaard said, only the noble of heart are called to difficulty. That's why, and he was a moral philosopher. Very good. Yes. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Well, Do you like a bit of Kierkegaard? Uh, <laughs> Nothing say, better than Kierkegaard <laughs> and a menu with a happy pig on it. <laughs> Um, well, I've eaten a lot of pig with uh, my father-in-law, so... Um, does, no, he's a moral... Does he wear a cardigan? Uh, cardies, sure, yeah. Moral yeah. philosophers, that's what they wear. They love it. <laughs> yeah, I bought him a barber jacket for Christmas that he likes Yes, he... Is he English? He's English, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah, yes, so yeah. he probably talks a little like this. He does, very much like that. Does he have a pipe? Um, yes, actually, he's giving Hugh... I love this guy! Yeah, he's a good guy, he's a good guy. <laughs> What's his name? Um, Jonathan Dancy. Jonathan Dancy. Can we... Can, <laughs> kids love moral philosophy. This will help us with the 18 to 34 year old demographic. They'll love it. This is going to be... Do you think he'd come on the show? Um, I bet he would, actually. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be yeah. nice. You should come on with him. Uh, that would be great. That would be or, great. Now, maybe he'd feel I'm that you were stealing his thunder a little bit. He's pretty bit. wonderful. Yeah. 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 Does anyway. he wear tweed? Um, do you know what? <laughs> He, he is a bit, he's a, he wears a beret all the time. It's a sort of signature thing. Does he present Mythbusters? <laughs> <laughs> no, but he bought a pair of leather pants in, when he was visiting us in New York like, about a year ago. And, and... <laughs> that must have posed a moral dilemma yeah. for him. <laughs> they actually did suit him, but we, we kind of shamed him that, you know, so much that he won't wear them outside of the house. But... <laughs> He walks around the house wearing leather trousers, <laughs> reading Kierkegaard, smoking a pipe, and wearing a cardigan. And I liked him, but I'm gay for this guy. Yeah, he's a great I man. love this. I, I love him too. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm glad we cleared that up. Yeah. 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 <laughs>